They are calling for an end to their president's rule and denouncing his latest move. Only hours after Omar al-Bashir made an announcement that reflects how much these protests have shaken the government. I declare the following, to impose a state of emergency for one year, to dissolve the national unity government, to dissolve the provincial governments, and we will continue to take measures to implement what I have resolved. Our country requires us to stand together. It demands us to remain united, patient and tolerant. I am certain we will be an example to follow. For over two months, people in Sudan have been taken to the streets. Their anger ignited by an economic crisis. They've demanded that Omar al-Bashir step down. According to Sudan's constitution, a state of emergency would allow security forces to arrest those deemed as a threat to the country and its political and economic stability. A new government will be formed, which the president says will work on fixing the economy. As he called for dialogue, some say his announcements are far from what those who've been demonstrating want to see happen. I think that the demonstrations are likely to continue in defiance of the state of emergency for two reasons. Um, the economic situation is not going to improve. And the demonstrations are basically based on economic hardships. So it's not just for him to say, calm down, let's have dialogue, when the people are hungry and the economic situation has not been addressed. So the demonstrations are likely to continue regardless of the state of emergency. Al-Bashir has ruled for nearly three decades. He came to power in a bloodless military coup in 1989, overthrowing a democratically elected government. Since 2012, anti-government protests grew over rising costs. Security forces responded each time using tear gas and live ammunition. Hundreds died. The protests that started in December last year have become the longest wave of anti-government demonstrations since the country's independence. With a state of emergency declared, protests may be harder to sustain. And Bashir may have found a way to end the biggest challenge to his presidency. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, 